Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. We're here today with another Caribbean book recommendation. Today is the third in the series. We talked about What Storm, What Thunder by Miriam J.A. Chansey. Yesterday, we chatted about The Long Song by Andrea Levy. And today we're gonna to be talking about another book that I highly recommend because it is witty, it is funny, it is informative, it is entertaining, it is, it's a classic, or it should be. <laughs> so let's not be cryptic, right? I'm going to be chatting today about The Lonely Londoners by Samuel Salvon. It's a book that I read earlier this year for the Run Right Reads book club, and I didn't make a video about it, so I thought today would be the best time to make up for that. So The Lonely Londoners, Samuel Salvon, is a classic. It was published in the 1950s, and it is about the story of the Windrush generation, the people from the Caribbean, who moved to the United Kingdom, specifically to London, someplace in England, most of them, moved to England in the period of the 1950s, right after World War II, when England was looking for workers, right? They wanted, they sent out a call for workers and they got Caribbean men, uh, a lot of them, and some of them brought their families. And they came with these high expectations because if you're not already familiar with the colonial system, a lot of the Caribbean countries were colonies of the British Empire and this was before a lot of those countries obtained their independence. So these were people who had grown up in the Caribbean, grown up to believe that English arist aristocracy was probably second only to deity. So <laughs> it was a big transformation was a big epiphany when a lot of these Caribbean people went to England and had these high expectations, had these high ideals of what life was like in England, what people would be like in England, and they experienced things like racism, they experienced things like poverty, they experienced things like um, just discrimination in a lot of ways. So a lot of the authors who talk about this Windrush generation, these people who migrated to England in the 1950s and had a lot of them had 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 heartbreak it is uh it's humorous but it's also really heart-wrenching to read these stories Samuel Sullivan captures a lot of that emotion he captures a lot of that angst a lot of that crashing realization he captures that in his characters and so even though this book has maybe a little bit of a critique from some other readers, not me, there's a little bit of a critique that it doesn't follow a specific plot because it doesn't go from beginning to end and trace this one story. But we get a lot of the experience of these Caribbean people, specifically the men, but we also learn about a family and why, <laughs> why a family moves to England. Um, so yeah, the main character, I suppose, is a man named Moses who we follow him for a period of about three years in England and we see some of the highs and a lot of the lows of his life. We see the people that he keeps company with, a lot of fellow immigrants, um, some of them from Trinidad, of course, some of them from other Caribbean countries like Jamaica. And we see the difference in expectation, we see the difference in lifestyle, we see the difference in adaptability or assimilation for the various groups or maybe just the various people representing those groups, I'm not sure. But we get to see how different people live in England at that time. And so our main character, Moses, we feel along with him, we emote along with him because he's one of those people who doesn't seem like he's making headway. He's not really following that, um, that, that immigrant path to the dream. Um, but we see other people who do. So Samuel Selvan gives us an opportunity to focus on a lot of characters and so through those experiences to see the different trajectories of life that immigrants from the Caribbean followed during that time. And so while this book is set in the 1950s and it could be a classic, it's also a lot of the experience of immigrants even now because you know, depending on which country you're from and depending on where you go, <laughs> immigrants could have such varying, varying, varying paths. 
And I say that because I know I am an immigrant, was an immigrant, and a lot of the things that I experienced, a lot of other people who I know immigrated from other Caribbean countries or other places in the world didn't have the same experience as I did. So I say that to say I really enjoy books about immigration and this, so it's a high recommendation. Like I said, I read this book a few months ago. This is me taking advantage of the opportunity to just say, while I have your attention and you're looking for Caribbean book recommendations, try to get your hands on a copy of The Lonely Londoners by Samuel Selvan. And I don't know, I may be rereading it myself <laughs> because I, I really enjoyed this book. And like I said, I read this for the Run Right Reads book club and the other participants in the book club also really enjoyed it. And I think we all said that we would probably reread this book because it's good. It's that good. So if you read it, would love to hear about it in the comments. If you haven't yet read it and you want to read it, let me know in the comments what I said in this video that maybe made you think about picking it up. So yeah, let's chat in the comments. And until we come back with another video, another Caribbean book recommendation, maybe as we are anticipating, highly anticipating Caribbean and also celebrating Caribbean heritage all month long. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you will comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. More videos coming soon. Uh, share this video if you think there's someone else who would like to hear about Caribbean book recommendations. Share this video, share my channel so I can make new friends. And yeah, until we come back with another video. Happy reading. Bye.